So my name is Kristen. I lecture in digital curation at King's College London in the Department of Digital Humanities. And today I will be talking about ontologies in five minutes or less. I like to think of ontologies as these kind of underlying systems that give us the logic to draw relationships between objects or concepts or materials that are in diverse collections. So for example, we can have uh, paintings, we can have data sets, we can have manuscripts, we can have books that live in a museum or an archive or a library or a data repository and we want to connect them to you know, the creator or the institution or the grant that helped fund them. And ontologies use a kind of grammar um, to do this. They have subjects, objects, and verbs. So the subject would be, you know, for example, your painting that lives in a museum and your verb would express the relationship you're hoping to capture, right? So saying it's a part of, it was created by, it's you know, derived from you know, a creator or a group of creators that would be the artist that you're trying to kind of draw that connection between. And you can kind of build this up in increasingly complex ways. So instead of saying, you know, the painting was created by an artist, you can say, you know, if you're a historian and you're interested in cultures and events and places and objects, um, and you're trying to work with somebody, say, you know, a physicist who's knowledgeable about atmosphere and weather, you can say, you know, this day and time at this event, you know, these actors were involved in certain things and we have our manuscript or data set that is telling us about this. And it relates to atmospheric data that these other people created at a different institution. And you can start creating these increasingly complex relationships that are expressed using the logic of your ontology. So we have th things like CDOC CRM that allows us to do this in by also using conceptual models that allow us to articulate these relationships so that we can become increasingly kind of specific when we're saying what an agent is, what an event is, and kind of the types of relationships and directions that we're hoping to draw between them. And overall, it allows us to organize things, and organizing things allows us to share things. And that's basically what an ontology allows you to do in five minutes or less. Mm -hmm.